how to fix Python was not found in Visual Studio Code. So if you're trying to run a Python script and you're getting some kind of error message, either Python can't be found or something to do with the Microsoft Store, then I'm going to show you exactly how to go and fix this error. So the very first thing we need to do is just go and load up an internet browser on your computer. You can then go and type in Python install and click on this top website here, which is python.org. Now, if you haven't already installed Python, then go ahead and press the download button. You can then click on this executable file and go through the steps to install this onto your computer. Now, once you've installed Python, open up the start menu. You can then just go and search for Python and you should see Python 3.13. We need to right click on this and click on open file location. You then need to go and right click on this file and once again, click on open file location. Now, all you need to do is come up to the address bar at the top and go and click copy all of this file directory. So I'm going to right click and press copy. You can then open back up your start menu, search for the word environment and click on edit environment variables for your account. Now you need to go and double click on this option here called path and then you can go and click on new. You then need to go and paste in the file directory that we just copied and press enter. You then need to select the file directory and we're just going to press move up and you need to make sure this is at the very top of this window like this. You can then come back over to this folder and double click on scripts and you're also going to copy this file directory as well. You can then come back over to environment variables, click on new once again and go and paste in that file directory and press enter. You can then also move this up to the top of the page. Now, once you've done that, you can go and press OK at the bottom. You can then go and press OK once again and you should now be able to run your Python commands. Now, if it's still not working, then what I'd recommend doing is adding the same file directories in this option down here for path. So instead of adding it in user variables, you can try adding it in the system variables instead and that should go and solve your issue. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.